Turning now to business news, Wall Street is open for business as usual today, and the Grinch steals the box office. Dian King Hall has those stories and more in today's Money Watch report. Banks are closed in honor of Veterans Day, but the stock market is open for business today. Now on Friday, Wall Street lost ground. The Dow slumped 201 points and the Nasdaq dropped 123. The Federal Reserve will begin issuing a new report on the stability of the U.S. financial system. The report will be delivered in the spring and fall, looking at financial vulnerabilities tracked by the central bank. The first report will be issued November 28th. Meantime, more homes are hitting the million-dollar mark. According to real estate industry tracker Trulia, the number of homes with a price tag of $1 million or more rose by over 400,000 this year. That means a little more than 3 million homes in the U.S. are worth at least a million. Most of those are in California. Trulia says the large additions to the Million Dollar Club is due to rising home values. And Dr. Seuss's The Grinch topped the weekend box office. The title character in The Grinch is voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch. It was expected to do well, but exceeded projections, taking in an estimated $66 million in ticket sales. Last week's top film, Bohemian Rhapsody, dropped to second, followed by the war horror film, Overlord. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King-Hall.